It's official, Xbox and Bethesda are married and they've already got kids on the way. The CW's live action Powerpuff Girls have been cast and one of the stars is a superhero vet from the MCU. And one of my favorite Stadia exclusives is going multi-platform very soon. All that and the latest and everything cool today in The Rundown. Hello, my friends. Welcome to another exciting episode of The Rundown, where we find out about cool things going on in games, entertainment, and tech. My name is Victor Lucas, and today's show is dedicated to Liz, who wrote on yesterday's Rundown, my favorite women in games are Cortana, early Halo, Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn, Teresa from Fable 1, Ellie and Abby from The Last of Us, Elizabeth from Bioshock, Chun-Li from Street Fighter, Chell from Portal, and I'll give one to Princess Zelda just for being so iconic. Great list there, Liz. All right, let's get started with some huge news in Xbox land. In a terrific retrospective video published by Bethesda today, the company celebrated the long road the publisher has taken, leading to its next chapter as a game maker under the Xbox umbrella. And taking to Xbox Wire, Microsoft's Phil Spencer Spencer wrote a nice piece detailing just how excited he is to work with Bethesda. He said, this is the next step in building an industry-leading first-party studios team, a commitment we have to our Xbox community. With the addition of the Bethesda creative teams, gamers should know that Xbox consoles, PC, and Game Pass will be the best place to experience new Bethesda games, including some new titles in the future that will be exclusive to Xbox and PC players. And that last bit is incredibly important because, of course, all kinds of speculation has been floating around the internet about what is going to be exclusive from Bethesda and what isn't because, of course, Bethesda has been publishing on all kinds of platforms in the past, including PlayStation. And it looks like that's going to continue, but there are going to be some games that Microsoft is going to say, nope, that's just for us. I feel like that's kind of flying in their face of the idea of being able to play anywhere, which is what all of what Game Pass is about and xCloud and the subscription kind of model that Xbox has really been perfecting. Now, Bethesda has development studios all around the world. They've got Bethesda Game Studios just outside of Washington, D.C. They've got id Software in Texas, Zenimax Online Studios, Arcane Machine Games in Sweden, which is working on the new Indiana Jones game, Tango Gameworks, Alpha Dog, and Roadhouse Studios. They've got amazing devs everywhere. So it is very exciting news for Xbox fanatics out there, but I think for gaming in general, you know, this is a roadmap that Xbox is providing for Bethesda, basically saying, look, you're, you're going to have the money and the resources to take big bets and big swings, and we want to see what your teams are capable of, and we got your back. Microsoft is one of the biggest companies on earth, and they are investing heavily in this direction. It's a deal worth more than $7 billion. They're taking this incredibly seriously, but they're also taking the time to celebrate this huge win for Xbox, and, you know, hopefully for the video game industry in general. Hopefully what comes out of this are just some exceptional new inventions and ways into interactive entertainment. They are celebrating this week with additional Bethesda made games that are going to be added to Game Pass. So we're going to hear more about this and it's a big deal. I know a lot of people are incredibly happy about what this means for Bethesda going forward and the types of games that we are going to play. But you know what? I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think. Are you excited about this deal? Are you nervous about it? Are you worried about what's going to be exclusive and what isn't? Speaking of exclusives, last year I played a number of Stadia exclusives, but my favorite one by far was Lost Words beyond the page, and guess what? It's not an exclusive any longer. One of the most enjoyable games I played on Stadia last year is Lost Words Beyond the Page. It's a really thoughtful and lovely game about a young adventurer named Izzy that's dealing with grief through her art. And I'm happy to hear that the game is hitting Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, and PC on April 4th, so we don't have long to wait for that one. Rihanna Pratchett wrote the script and story for the game, and she's done some great work on the Tomb Raider and Mirror's Edge games. I enjoyed the performances of the voice actors in Lost Words and also using the mechanics to manipulate words to continue on the journey was very clever. The game's won a bunch of awards and lots of recognition out there and honestly I had a really good time playing this one with my daughter. Now I'll link to my review in the show description down below and I'm really looking forward to hearing from you guys once you've been able to play this game now that it's available everywhere. I want to hear what you think about Lost Words Beyond the Page but I'm happy that more people are going to be exposed to this one. And speaking of games getting more exposure even if they don't really need it, Apex Legends is hitting the Switch today. 
Apex Legends has become one of the most popular brands under EA's umbrella, and now the game has hit the Nintendo Switch. The game was created by Respawn, which are the developers of my favorite first-person shooter of all time, Titanfall 2, and Apex Legends takes place in the Titanfall universe, but of course it focuses on a bunch of disparate heroes with different abilities, and it's a huge battle royale experience. The Switch port was developed in partnership with Panic Button, who has been doing some really solid work making the the impossible kind of possible on the Switch platform most recently with Doom Eternal. Now as part of the launch of Apex Legends, Switch players that log in over the course of this next two weeks are going to get a bunch of stuff including a legendary Pathfinder skin, 30 free levels for the Season 8 Battle Pass, and double XP. Who doesn't want double XP? I wish we could get double XP in life, especially over this last year. We all deserve double XP over this last year, don't you think? Now, I got a code for Apex Legends and a bunch of stuff as part of the game, so I'm going to be diving back in. I'm looking forward to getting reacquainted, and I may stream some tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. All right, just a couple of quick things to tell you about today. The Hollywood Reporter has broken the story that the Powerpuff Girls, a new live-action superhero drama coming to the CW, where all of the superhero dramas seem to be coming from, has cast its lead actors, and one of them is Chloe Bennett from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., so she didn't take too long before jumping into another superhero role here. The other two are Dove Cameron and Yana Peralt. Chloe Bennett's going to be playing Blossom, Cameron is going to be Bubbles, and Peralt has been cast as Buttercup. And this may be the first time the Powerpuff Girls have been featured in the rundown. I have liked some Powerpuff Girls video games, and I like the sassy attitude that I've seen of clips from the show. Um, and you know what? I think the CW's got a pretty good track record at making superhero shows, so I'm actually interested to check this out. The pilot's going forward, and I don't know if it's gone to series yet, but that's some pretty exciting news. And I'm a fan of Chloe Bennett. I think she did a fantastic job on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And finally, Watch Dogs Legion's online mode has gone live today, so players can find some friends and go and explore the future deadly and beautiful London that Ubisoft Toronto built for the game. There are some co-op missions, and some PvP type combat and there's also some new single player stuff in the update as well and more is coming to Watch Dogs Legion. I kind of want to dive back in and check all of this stuff out but if you are playing Watch Dogs Legion you've got some more stuff to sink into. All right that's going to do it for the rundown today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back again tomorrow but it's going to be a live rundown and we'll also play some fun stuff afterwards so please come back for that. Thank you to all of our subscribers. Thank you for commenting and for liking and for sharing this video. And thank you especially to our EPN members. We'll see you tomorrow. And until then, play forever.